What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI. I have another Dell Optiplex 7010. This is the small foam factor. I'm going to be upgrades for gaming. So I'm going to switch to the other side here. I'm going to zoom out the camera. So you're going to move the side cover panel. And I'm going to go start off be upgrading the hard drive and two solid state drive. Show you how to do that. So you're going to move the Optical drive, a little clip right here. You press it up like this and slides to the left. And you're gonna disconnect the SATA power cable. And the hard drive cage right here is a little secure clip, a lock when you press the left to move the hard drive cage. And you're gonna move the caddy, hard drive caddy like this, comes out. got only 500 gigs in here I'm just gonna upgrade to uh, two terabytes and okay now I'm gonna install it back like this and I'm going to be upgrading the memory. It's got only 4 gigs in here. I'm going to be upgrading to 16 gigs. That's 4 gig per each slot. Uh, DDR3 90cc and buffer memory for a desktop. The memory I like, guys, is a Kingston Crucial and Carsia. Those are the top three brands. And I'm going to be installing total uh, 16 gigs. I'm going to be using a match pair. So I got 8 gigs, 12, 16. And when you install the memory properly, you're going to hear uh, two clicks. Now I'm going to go ahead and install and show you guys the other way is uh, upgrade to Soul State Drive. So you're going to move the hard, hard drive caddy and this is a 3.5 inch and uh, I'll show you the, you have to buy the caddy right here, this is a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch caddy for the solid state drive or this works, it works with our 2.5 inch hard laptop hard drive. You can use any uh, solid state drive you want. So the way you install it is like this. And like that. Now you're gonna now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect the SATA and power cable back to the Soul State Drive. And you're going to close this little secure clip. You're going to press to the right to lock it. The hard drive cage locks. Now, what I'm going to do is install back the optical drive. And will be the last part is upgrading the VD card. And the VD card, guys, is going to be installing is. Uh, it's a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. This is overclocked, uh, low profile, and comes with, with the low profile bracket right here when you buy this video card. And because this is when, when you get the video cards installed, a full high bracket. This is for the mini tower, but this is uh, we install on a small form factor, so you have to change to the low profile bracket right here. Comes like this, then you have to change the bracket to it. It's got a total of uh, three screws here and another screws right here to remove from DVI to change it to the low profile. It comes with a bracket. And the power supply in here is uh, 240 watts, so it will work perfectly fine. So I'm going to switch it to the other side so you guys can see better. And there's a little latch right here. What you're going to do is remove this latch right here, remove the PCI brackets, low profile right here. And you're going to install the video card through PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the blue one. 
The black one is a PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the black one, and it's actually wired as a times four, so it's running slower speed, the black one. So you have to install through the blue one right here that's running a PCI times 16 slot, because this is running only times four right here, so it's a lot slower. Make sure you install it right here and a blue slot right here, the top one. So the video card is installed, now I'm going to put the latch back up on here like this. And I'm going to put the side cover back on, side cover panel. Let me show you guys the back side. This is how the video card is going to look like. So it's got both a uh, display port right here. It's got a HDMI port, HDMI, and a DVI port for the video card. You're gonna plug in the monitor directly right here, and your ports right here, and you're gonna plug in the video card. And just get the if you're gonna use still using the same video card, just go to Nvidia.com and get the latest drivers for it. It depends on uh, if you got a Windows 10 64 bit, and just install the Windows 10 operating system uh, drivers for the drivers from uh, Nvidia.com. They have the latest drivers for this video card. So you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.